There's an abundance of seafood in Essaouira, which is on the Atlantic coast of Morocco. And so today, get ready to explore this fascinating city and eat some incredibly delicious Moroccan seafood. Whoa, <laughs> bubbly. Oh, wow. A gigantic salad sculpture. Looks like a wedding cake. Here it is. Oh. As we've learned so far in Morocco, the best meals you'll have are at homes. Hey everyone, good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. One of the many great things about Morocco is there's always coffee available. And so we're just driving on the highway, uh, but we've stopped off at, it's a little van, but he has a full espresso machine set up it from the back of the van so you can get a proper coffee on the go just on the side of the street. Yes, I love Morocco. Kran. Hey, hot, fresh coffee. And actually, decent coffee, you know, made with a full espresso machine, good coffee. Oh, good, good morning. morning. Good, <laughs> good morning. morning. Hello, yeah. hello, hello. Nice. How are you? Oh, yeah, coffee oh, on the here. road? <laughs> well, of course, if you're a Moroccan, you have your own cup in the car. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, you brought your own cup? <laughs> of course. Oh, that's even better. Nicely done, nicely done. How was your sleep? Very good. Very, very good? good? Yes. Nice. Happy nice. to have a coffee on the side of the road, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. stopping on the side of the road for our first glimpse of Essaouira, beautiful city with the Atlantic in the distance. You'll also notice all the trees that we've been passing as well as right behind me, and these are Argan trees. Actually, before we start eating seafood, we're stopping by to learn more about Argan, the Argan tree and Argan oil, which is indigenous to Morocco, only grows here, and it's famous for its use of, I mean, producing oil, which can be used for cosmetics and also as an important food source with full of natural vitamins and antioxidants. And this is the tree right now. Also goats love to eat it and also humans. So actually this is the fruit. Inside there is like a little pit. Inside of the pit there is a nut. So the oil is made from the... From the nut. The, nut. the goats actually come to the tree. Uh, they climb the tree and they eat the fruit. Of course in their digestive system they consume the flesh and they drop out pit. Okay. This is one of the old methods actually to collect. <laughs> to keep the, growing uh, new trees. Yes. Oh yeah, the hat is great. Nice. Okay, so within the Argan fields, we've met up with Hafida. Hafida and family. And family. Oh, nice. Okay. This is the Argan oil factory, but they're also making a special, kind of like a, I mean, a spread with almonds and Argan oil, which we'll learn about more in one of the great things of Moroccan food. But first, we're going to see the process of the Argan yes. oil making. This is the Argan fruits. We open them first. Ah. And this we feed animals with. Next step is we crush. And then you crack open that seed. Yeah, crack oh, open that. Oh, and Here there it is, is the, the arganut. Almost looks like a little, we'll make oil. like a pumpkin seed almost. Yeah. Okay. Ah, and that's what the oil is made from. The only dif difference is that the one for food is roasted. We roast these kernels. Okay. This one is a roasted one. Okay. This one is the one normal. All right. So with this, we will make the one for food. With this, we will make the one for cosmetics. Ooh, that smells so good. Really toasty aroma. Yep. Okay, and so the next process is once those seeds are roasted, then they're just ground using the traditional method, the grinding stone. And you can just see and the aroma that comes out of it. It's so nutty, so toasted. Uh, and that comes out like a, like a paste. But you can also see how oily it is as well. Oh, and even the oil is starting to separate on the, on the bottom as it comes out, yeah? All right, so once all of the toasted argan seeds are ground, now she's gonna show us the process of separating the paste from the oil. And so she added a little bit of water to kind of react. 
so the oil reacts with the paste. And the yeah, it comes in dough. And so she's been massaging it and working it, kneading it for almost 20 minutes now. And now the texture has totally changed. It started to crumble and you can see the oil coming out, but it's so, such a, a tedious process, it takes so long. And I mean, she's just continually, continually massaging it. And man, the aromas are coming out. It's shining. After massaging it, now she just wrings it out, squeezes it out, extract all the oil, and you're left with that byproduct paste, which is fed to animals or used in other production. But it's not eaten. So you're gonna bake some bread? Yeah, of course. Okay, awesome. And so that would be what you yeah. eat with the argan oil as well? Yes. Our right. bread calls teflon bread. Oh, nice. Need to be very hot. Okay, very hot. All then, right. When we see the first ball, we turn. We use also the shell of argan. Oh, so nice. for the argan okay. oil, everything is used. Ah, all no right. waste. All right. Great. This we use as a fuel for fire. Here. Nice. Oh yeah, it's really puffing up. An air bubble. Oh, it popped. Oop. Here is our bread. Nice. Looks great. So that's the fresh argan oil. I'm gonna taste it for the first time here. Directly from the source. That's as the most natural argan oil you could possibly get. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's so fragrant. So toasted and nutty and has a natural sweetness as well. Mmm. So good. All right, some tea. Yeah. And we're sitting down, the freshly baked bread. bread. Thank you very much, the pure argan oil. And then also, right, Amlu. Amlu. This is the argan oil for food. Okay, let's try it first, the pure. Very tasty. Mmm. Oh, so it's been separated from the paste, the oil, and the paste, that's just a pure oil. It's sweet and so nutty. And then one of the popular ways to actually use argan oil in food yes. is with amlu. So we, this is the amlu. Okay. The amlu is also a local product. This is the almond. We roast them also. We grow them. Then we add the argan oil. We add honey. It gives us the oh, space. Nice. Okay. Oh, the amlu. Mm. Oh, that's incredible. Oh man, the rum of the argan oil, the richness of the almonds, the sweetness of the honey all together. Yes, all together. That's one of the great dips for bread. Also one of the things that are good to mention about the argan oil, it's not a cooking oil. Oh. It's a finishing oil. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it has like a super low temperature mm. uh, smoking point. Wow. That is so good, yeah. And you, you just taste the freshness here as well, oh, the yeah, quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not overpoweringly sweet, the yeah. amlu. It's perfect. It's the amlu is yeah, perfect, yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Mm. That was such an education about argan, the argan tree, the production, how it's made traditionally, um, the argan oil, and then the, the amlu. Thank you so much. And they're giving us an incredible gift. That's the oil that they actually squeezed, they made the um, right now, seconds ago, plus the, the amalo, plus some cosmetics. That cosmetics. is extremely kind. Thank you very yeah, much. This has been incredibly pleasure. educational as well. And delicious. Things. Thank you very much. Yeah, I will come. Thank you very much. We'll be enjoying that argan oil for many months to come. Just a short drive away, welcome to Esoera. This is a beautiful port, coastal city on the Atlantic, known for its history and its seafood. Welcome to Esoera. Thank you very much. It's not so big like Marrakesh, it's a small town, but it's very, very nice. We call it also the wind city. 
Why? Because it's a little bit windy, especially from March to uh, July. Okay. Mini, mini wind. This is the reason that many people practice the cage surf and windsurfing. So we're here at the port, mostly a fishing port, where the fishers come in, dock their boats, unload the fresh kitsch, and you definitely smell the aroma of fish blowing through the air. It's a beautiful port and just thousands of seagulls flying overhead, the aroma of fresh fish and seafood. Okay, so we're coming up to a stall right within the fish market at the port, as fresh as possible, directly off the boat. And he has just a selection, mostly shellfish. And this is ceviche. You have octopus, calamar, anchovies, and mussel. Nice, shukran. Everything in here actually is marinated using uh, vinegar, lime juice, and of course, olive oil. All right, some awesome. spices. All right, so here we go. Mussels marinated in olive oil. Oh, and some spices as well. Yep. Little seafood cocktail. Mm. Very good. Oh, nice. Oh, the lemon in there. Yeah. The vinegar. Oh, that's vinegar, okay. Yeah. The vinegar. Kind of cooks the seafood. Great. Yeah, the mussels down there. Yeah, kind of tastes like it's pickled. Pickled seafood, actually. Yep. And now we know why they call it the Windy City. It's <laughs> yeah. really, yeah, nicely windy. You've got a constant sea breeze. Mm. Oh yeah, the mussels are good. They almost taste like they're, uh, like almost like the, the flavor of the, the canned or the tinned mussels. Look, I'm going to show you, it's still alive. You okay? All right, oyster so directly from the sea. Look, it moved. To move, it means all life. <laughs> okay. So it's really, for it. And I would let lime. Anna. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Moving on to the oyster. Oh, yes. Oyster Cheers. bar. <laughs> Such a cool atmosphere. Wow. Oh, wow. That melts in your mouth. Wow. Mm. Ocean in your mouth. Yeah. Mm. Oh, mm, the sweetness. So fresh. The aftertaste sweetness. The wow. briny seawater flavor. So oh, good. Well, it does not get better than this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice Man, the flavor just keeps on coming mm. with the sweetness, with the natural freshness. Oh, yeah. mm. Straight from the from the water <laughs> to the cart. Yep. This is a female one. It's sweet, more sweet than uh, the male one. Okay. The females are always sweeter. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So look, we notice the difference, the color. Okay. We have here red liquid. When it's male, we have a white liquid. Thank you. Okay, here we go. We've got the sea urchin. Fresh sea urchin. Yeah. One of the great delicacies of the sea. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow, yes. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet and so nutty. Mm. Ocean jam. <laughs> yes, ocean jam. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. caramel almost. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, it's like wow. caramel. Wow. Yeah, it's wow. delicious. Explosion of flavor. It's a delicacy. Oh yeah. Wow. I'm going to prepare it as sashimi. Oh, nice. Okay. In a Japanese way. All right, okay. great. So we are going to break the shell to get the meat, and we cut it slices like a sashimi. All right. Okay. <laughs> Steps outside, hammers the shell. Oh, yes. so we have a big like a sea snail, type of sea snail here, almost like a, a conch. So, going to, to clean, you know? All right. Yeah. Clean uh, all what it contains, like... Uh, and then we cut it like this, so... Now you eat a uh, real uh, sashimi. So thinly slices. So now it's already for it. Okay, we don't need to add anything. Uh, I mean uh, spices or something like that. Or lime, you know. All right. So ready for it. Oh, you can feel how crisp it is. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It's so crisp. 
The texture is incredible, yeah. Wow. wow. Really nice. Super sweet. Sweet. It's actually so neutral tasting as well. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's not fishy tasting, it's not not a strong flavor. Great texture. Really great texture. It's a really almost like a cartilage crunch. Yeah. Like cartilage. It's yeah, like cartilage, exactly. yeah. It's like cartilage, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's so good. Wow. Might be really good with some of that sauce, though. Garlic sauce. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the shallots. That is like a sweet chili. Oh, nice. Mm. Marhaba, marhaba. Chakran, chakran. The Moroccan spider crab. Yes, spider crab. Moroccan spider crabs, giant lobsters. Taibu herring. Oh, nice, okay. Taibu herring actually can translate uh, to uh, cooked and falling apart. <laughs> oh, nice. So, <laughs> so very soft. Piece actually that is cooked until uh, Fall apart, very soft and tender. Fa falling apart and tender. Oh, so he has a combination of salt and probably cumin. Oh, it goes yeah, into a paper cone. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, seasoned yeah. with a little bit of salt, with a little bit of uh, cumin. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I love chickpeas, yeah. Oh, man. The simplest food. Yeah. Chickpeas are some of the greatest beans. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Chickpeas. Wow. They are creamy, perfectly cooked. Nice. Delicious. Now we're walking by the beautiful coastline. Yeah, really windy. That's why it's known for windsurfing. And over to the Medina, the old part of the city, to eat seafood. More seafood. From here, we're getting into the old Medina, yeah. the old part of the town. <laughs> okay. And we've made it on our walk to La Scala. This is one of the most important landmarks in Esoera. La Scala is a military fortification that it was built for to protect the Medina. Okay. And La Scala, it was built exactly in 1765. And it's a very nice uh, thing that we have here. Oh man, okay, from up here, that's how you really know it's the Windy City. Woo! That's such a cool breeze. And the crashing waves. An incredible sight. Before we were at the outdoor fish market. <laughs> yes. Assalamu alaikum. But now we are at the more of the official fish market, which is within the Medina. And so we're going to buy some sardines, buy some fish, and then take it to the restaurant to eat. So he just marinated in salt. Is that to preserve it or for the... That's for the... That for, 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 for the, the grilling. grilling. Okay, yeah, yeah. they're already salted. So next step, we've got the sardines. We oh, come yes. over to a local restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you give the sardines directly. Okay. So that's our bag of sardines. He's going to prepare it immediately. Yeah. Another kitchen. It's a secret passageway into the kitchen. Here we go. Coming into the kitchen to get a first-hand glimpse of the grill and the... Oh, the tagines. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Anna. And go. Oh, the tagine. Blurring away the fish grill. Oh, shrimp. Gambas. Sardines. Yeah. Rukan. See. Okay. Yes. Nice, thank you. We got another type of fish here. Yeah, fish, yeah. Spiceness, spiceness. Okay. Some of the coriander. I think it's paprika also goes on. Citron. Oh, okay. Yeah. Olive oil? The zuli? Citron. So for the sardines, it's just salt. Oh, this is for our tagine. Looks like tomate, tomate onions, probably some spices already in there as well. 
Taji. Taji, Taji. Dudu, Dudu. Taji, Taji. Toujours Marou. Taji, Issawera. Taji, Issawera. Ok. New York, Shiz Karim. Welcome. Shokran, Shokran. Welcome, welcome to. I love that flip method directly onto your plate from the great. Oh, no. Okay, the tajin. Oh, oh. <laughs> bubbling. Oh yes, bubbling Sizzling. gambas or the. These are the small little shrimp. Thank you. So the sardines are served. Yes. 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 Sardines. Oh man. One of my favorite foods. Yeah, it's hard to beat grilled sardines. Oh, yeah. Dig into the sardine, peel back that skin. Oh yeah, because they they put quite a lot of heavy salt on it as well, so you kind of peel back that that skin. Then you've got the filet off the bone. Oh, it's so hot and fresh. Squeeze of lemon. Grabbing with bread. First bite of sardines. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sardines are one of the greatest fish. Oh yeah. Small, but so much flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back so oily. Doesn't taste very fishy. No, no. Mm. Mm. Clean. And the only thing he added was the salt. No seasoning on it. Just here. I mean, that's how it's done, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Buttery, flavorful. Yeah, sardines are one of the great fish of the world. All right, while it's still bubbling and hot, let's go in for the, the oh, yeah. shrimp gambas oh, yeah. tagine. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's sensational. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I think you've got that contrast between uh, tomato, cumin, and coriander. Oh, yeah. Coriander, oh. cumin. Oh, what a. Uh, not a lot of salt because yep. about the chicken. That is. Okay. It has a little kick. Yes, it has a little kick. I need another bite. Oh, yeah, yeah the preserved. There's oh, preserved yeah. lemon no, in there. No, no, just uh, fresh regular lemon. lemon. Oh, fresh, fresh okay. Fresh lemon. You okay. can actually do. You can yeah. juice it. Yeah, exactly. Juice it in the tajin. Yeah. Oh, oh hot. Mm. <laughs> that was the lemon. Wow. Yeah. Mm. That brightens it up. Mm. It was something mm. truly sensational. Mm. Try a little bite of that chili. I mean, it's not that spicy, but it's packed with flavor. It has this beautiful, the chili has a beautiful acidity to it as well. Mm. It's just, that's, that's an outstanding dish. All the sardines. Mm. Well, nothing quite like fresh sardines. Man. And that combination, just salt and lemon. That's all you need. Okay. <laughs> shukran. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shukran. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. So friendly. Those are some of the friendliest guys you'll meet. Oh man, those sardines. So good. Yeah, and the shrimp tagine was incredible. Ooh emerging back into the streets. After the sardines, we've stopped at the next place. Oh yes, one of uh, my favorite stops uh, here in Isawira. Nice. Uh, it's a nice little boutique. They make very, very nice uh, burgers and snacks. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it's all fish based, of course. Okay, uh, so. so they're famous for the fish burger here? Yeah. And the sardine yeah, burger. Exactly. We'll, we'll try actually a sardine burger and a crispy burger. Nice, okay. Yeah. So two different types of burgers. We got the sardine burger and we got the crispy fish. The sardine burger actually looks like meat. It almost looks like beef. Yeah, a double patty, really nice, really fluffy buns. There's cheese, there's tomato, there's lettuce, there's onions. On the crispy one, there's coleslaw as well. The bun is huge and like really solid and crispy. Oh man, that's nice, nice looking burger. Oh, you can see the juices of the sardines coming out of it as well. Oh, 
so juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Almost literally tastes like meat. So juicy. Again, oily from those sardines. That's really good. The bread is really nice too. Mm. Oh. Really, really good. This one is the crispy burger. That bun is impressive. So like a fried fish burger. They're gonna get messy. Oh man. Mm. Oh, fish is so melting in your mouth. Crispy. The crunch of the cabbage, the mayonnaise, the tartar sauce. Oh yeah. Really. Both are actually excellent. A modern take on the seafood of Esoara. Mmm. They've done a great job on these fish burgers. Both of them. Excellent. Okay, you'll try the yeah. you'll try the croquette. <laughs> oh yes. The croquette it's my first time. Oh so, nice, okay. Yeah. I've been uh, saving some space for dinner. Yes. <laughs> but this I can't resist. <laughs> mm. Wow. Let's try the sardine croquette. Oh yeah. It's like that same sardine burger on the outside. Deep fried with cheese in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's so good. So Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Essaouira has a reputation for being one of the friendliest cities in Morocco as well, and it's living up to its name. They were so friendly. Uh, fish burger, and that's, yeah, man, who would have thought? Essaouira has a fantastic fish burger and a sardine burger, so good. So from here, we are moving on because we have a very special dinner ahead of us. been welcomed to the family home. I can already smell the aroma of what we're gonna be eating for dinner. It's gonna be a, an incredible dinner. Oh, wow. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Hi, they all. We're saving space while I was eating the burgers. Oh, the burger was good though. The burger was good, but. The burger was good, but, but yeah. Yeah, we, we wanna fill your stomach so we can dig in. Oh yeah, because oh. cause you're a good player in the oh, table. Oh, hey, so. I've still got space. I've oh. still got space, I've still got space. Nice. <laughs> What do we have yeah. going in the, in the uh, oven we now? Have, we have actually uh, a pastilla, uh, like a fish pastilla, ah, okay, uh, going okay. into the oven. Of course, it's a homemade pastilla okay. by the uh, magical hands of Lella Khadija. Uh, and of course, uh, some other uh, side dishes, things that she will start heating up here in the tagines. Uh, and so would a fish pastilla be typical of... Or along the whole coast of... uh, in the coastal cities, okay. uh, the original pastilla is like the almond and pigeons or the yeah. almond and chicken. Yeah. But the uh, uh, the fish pastilla actually is uh, like a creation made in the uh, in the coast. Sardine meatballs. Yeah. Sardine meatballs. This is the whiting. Another sardine balls. Wow. Yeah. 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 Oh man! So the pastilla is in the oven, the full-size pastilla, which is like giant and then the tagines are going as well the variety of tagines the sardine meatballs so i'm beginning to realize that Esoera is a, a sardine capital oh man and then there's also a, a gigantic salad sculpture looks like a wedding cake amazing wow as we've learned so far in morocco the best meals you'll have are at homes oh, yes and just the hospitality just the presentation is on the next level. This is another double-decker <laughs> sculpture of a salad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a wedding cake salad. <laughs> a wedding cake salad. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. Amazing. Thank you wow. for having us. Grand. Welcome. Yes. You are more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. We want to feel like in your home. Thank it's you very much. Okay, Mr. Hussein, how do we, how do we dig in? How do we approach? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that was the best answer. That was the best answer ever. <laughs> because you are our guest, and I, I'm scared that I. <laughs> you can, you can like uh, suggest. <laughs> we can suggest. 
Oh. <laughs> well, let's just uh, let's just go in. Yeah, let's just okay. In. Let's just jump in. Loaded, and there's even strawberries and apples on tops as well. Is this okay for you? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's okay. Yeah. Maybe this is all right. Oh man, quinoa. Mm. Oh, the avocado. Mm. So refreshing. Oh man. Wow. So many nutrients in that. Mm. From the quinoa to the strawberries to the corn to the the mm. avocado. Oh yeah, green mm. peas. Mm. Wow, nice. It's really refreshing. Mm. Mm. That's excellent. It's a salad you could eat on a daily basis because it's really nutritious. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, and then we got the beetroot. Oh, like a pureed beetroot. Oh yeah. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Whoa. Oh. The wow. flavor of the... The, the Khadija, parsley, we the need the secret, mm. please. <laughs> oh, this one is, that's superb. We need the secret. Yeah, that is so good. Whoa. Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah. It's like a beetroot pudding. I think the, either the coriander or the parsley in there is what. Mm. Wow. We're off to an incredible start. Mm. Mm. Wow. But I cannot wait to try the tagines. Oh, the pastilla. Oh. Whoa. Start take this. Another specialty of Esoera with <laughs> olives. Oh, that sauce. Oh, that smells so good. Thank you. All right. Take a whole meatball. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah, it's so good. I think Esawara is a sardine capital as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's all deboned, mm. made into balls. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Some of the harissa for sure. Dab into the harissa, pick up a meatball, smash it into that gravy. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. The preserved lemon. Oh yeah. Mm. Never fails. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. That gives it a. A oh. jolt of extra flavor. Oh, yeah. Wow. But those are so good, those meatballs. I mean, they just totally mm. fall apart in your mouth. Yeah. They're so tender. Okay, what's, which one is this one? Uh, white, white Oh, nice, okay. In a tagine yeah. with mm -hmm. olives as well. Oh, yeah. Anytime you see olives in a tagine in <laughs> Morocco, it's a good sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. It's completely different than the sardines. Yes. Mm. It's yeah. really powered by the flavor of the olives, the, yeah, yeah. the, um, the fermented, yeah, fermented, pickly brininess of the olives, yeah. giving yeah. the fish its flavor. Wow. Fish is really soft as well. We also have some more, some more of the gambas, yeah. The, yeah. The, the small prawns. Shrimps. Just extra sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And these little prawns, they just totally mm. melt in your mouth. Oh, They're yeah. so soft. Very, very tender. Mm. This is one dressage Moroccan. Okay. Oh, this here is it is. Oh, wow, wow. Wow. Oh, that is wow. gigantic. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is huge. You even see the layers, the crispiness wow. of the, the thin dough. Oh. What a centerpiece. Okay. Yes, just oh, I should straight down the center? Yes, like a... from the center. Okay. It's like cutting a pizza. Exactly. Okay. Oh, yes. can you hear that crunch? Here. That's the sound of happiness right there. Yes, the flakiness. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I'll let... Oh, that feels so good to cut it because you could feel all those flaky <laughs> layers of dough. Okay, maybe we'll let 
her do the rest, the expert. <laughs> I, can, I can't say anything. Oh, there it comes, the slice. So it's filled with a combination of fish and oh. mushrooms in there too. Oh, whoa, thank you, a whole slice, <laughs> like a massive pie, yeah. You can see how many layers there are. Wow. Of, is it, it is similar to filo. It's filo. Or it is filo, okay. It is filo. It is filo dough. Especially for a pastilla. Exactly. But especially for a pastilla. Yes. We call it here uh, like the pastilla sheet. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, pastilla so sheet. it's literally paper thin. Exactly. Can be made at home, but uh, of course uh, you can buy it from uh, from the market. And it's like more common to buy it uh, now from the market. And then just make the pastilla uh, exactly. at home. Just okay. The okay. That's a spectacular, Bye. spectacular Bye. dish. Bye. We're gonna go in with our fingers just because that's how you can really feel feel the oh, the ingredients, the fish, shrimp in here. Oh, it's so hot. And these are rice noodles? Yes, rice noodles? Yes, with the filo. Yep. Crispy. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It's so crispy. Mm. Oh, man. Wow. All the flavor mm. of the seafood mm. has just been absorbed into the filo. Mm. The squid, mm. the fish, the shrimp, the noodles just melt in your mouth. What a dish. Oh. Oh, that, that filo is incredible. So crispy. And then you can use it just to grab everything. Mmm. I can't stop eating. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yes. True. No, you cannot. <laughs> Once you start eating, you cannot stop. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, the, there are mushrooms and olives in mm -hmm. here as well. You just keep yeah. digging and discovering new ingredients. Yeah. Would mm -hmm. this be something that you eat on a special occasion? Most of the time we, we are, we are talking about uh, seafood and fish pastilla and uh, chicken pastilla. Some, uh, some uh, traditional tagine like uh, uh, the prune, the sweet tagine with prunes mm. and either meat and either uh, beef or, or lamb. Couscous. Okay, okay. So this is a special uh, like yeah, okay. ceremonial. The the ceremonial. Fish and seafood pastilla is uh, gaining more and more um, interest. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Now. Oh, okay. Okay. It's but it's still a celebration dish. Yeah. I mean, yes. I mean it's without a doubt, it is a celebration oh, that yes. we're having tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, quite filling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not hardy. light. No, it's a hearty dish. The filo, yeah. the noodles. Mm. <laughs> All the seafood, what a just incredible Moroccan food creation. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you need to stretch in this meal. <laughs> incredible meal, incredible hospitality. Could we have tea please? Oh nice. Even if you are preparing a good meal, mm. a big or big meal, you know. Nice, okay. <laughs> The fresh mint. Is that all mint, mint and sage? Mint and sage? Huh? And you always got to pour back the first cup. It's the way how we, we process, we make tea in Morocco. The elevation. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Welcome. Beautiful tea. That is a fantastic, incredible traditional tea making in the copper kettles with the fresh mint. Oh man, that tea is so good. Oh, the mint. Next level Moroccan mint tea. Oh, taking it to the next level. Yes. <laughs> It's so good. We are very happy to have you. Thank you very much. So oh, it's a happy. huge honor to be here. Oh, the freshness of the mint and the sage in there. Oh, that is just... Sage, yes. That is yeah, I can, so... I can tell there is sage. So therapeutic. So... Sage? Yes. <laughs> so relaxing and calming. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. Mm. Oh, dessert. Wow. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> you, have to, mm. you have to lean your head back so all the mm. all the crispiness don't doesn't fall. Mm. It's so crispy. So crispy. Not sweet. too sweet. No. Not no. too sweet. No, it's a Not perfect all. sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Really nutty. Yeah. Almonds. Mm. 
A hint of cinnamon, mm. but not overpowering. Mm. Not, not too sweet. Yeah, very good. Very Perfect. Very good. Yeah. That is and delicious. The yeah, the it's crunch satisfying. is well, all those layers of phyllo is just mm. crunching mm. in your mouth at the same time. Mm. Wow. Washing it down mm -hmm. with some of the best Moroccan mint tea. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That was what a what a finish. Well, that was the yeah uh, one of the best meals we've had. Yes. Wow. Absolutely no, spectacular. Welcome. Wow. Yes, thank you. Let's make us happy. Shukran, Mr. Hussein. Yes. Shukran, Mr. Mr. Hussein. Such a pleasure. Thank you very much. Shukran, shukran. Thank you. Oh, man, what an incredible family. The hospitality, unmatched, delicious food. Thank you to Hossein and his entire family for that spectacular meal and just incredible experience. And also to all of my friends, the entire Moroccan food tour family uh, for arranging this and for setting everything up. Uh, I couldn't have done it without them and they've arranged such an incredible, another incredible day in Morocco. I have all the information in the description box below. And also make sure you subscribe because we're traveling all the way around Morocco, eating some of the best Moroccan food that you're not gonna wanna miss. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you good night from Isawara. <laughs>